Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I want to give you a quick introduction to our overclocking tool for graphics cards, Sapphire Trix. Trix works with almost all of our high-end cards and many of our mainstream cards as well and in fact because some of our cards are based on reference designs the tool can be used with some other manufacturers graphics cards as well. It's really useful because it allows you to vary clock speeds, memory clock speeds and also some voltages to get the maximum performance out of your graphics card. So Sapphire Trix is available free to download from the Sapphire website um, if you just go to sapphiretech.com you'll see that there are linking buttons to take you directly to the download. Once it's downloaded and installed, open it up and this is the kind of menu we see. Um, the first page is an information screen which tells you the detail about the graphics card you've got installed, the type of processor in it, the memory size and speed, quite a few details about the individual graphics card. And it's already displaying for us continuously the temperature of the graphics processor in this top right hand corner. So if we want to increase the performance of our graphics card we simply go to the overclocking page and depending on the exact model of card that you have installed you can make adjustments to the core clock speeds, memory clock speeds and even the GPU voltage on our high end models so that you can really maximise performance. We can adjust the settings with the sliders here or we can make smaller increments using the plus and minus buttons to really fine tune the settings that we want and then we can just click on apply. If anything goes wrong we can just do reset and it sets to the default values for the card that's installed. Another reason you might want to use Trix is to use different settings for playing games for example or watching videos where you want the card to be quiet. So we actually have a choice of fan speeds on this other menu where we can customise fan speeds using a profiling tool here or we can do a fixed fan speed and just ramp it up to whatever percentage of the fan speed we want. So if for extreme overclocking for example we might choose to go to 100% fan speed but that wouldn't be acceptable for watching a video where we'd want to go back down to a low fan speed. And again we can save those settings. So as you can see the Sapphire Trix tool makes it really easy to change the parameters of the graphics card to suit the application that you're running.